Let's cross live now to Cape Town, where, now, where our reporter Atule Joga is standing by uh, to give us a sense of whether or not uh, Table Mountain is uh, purple. Let's hear then from him. Atule, uh, good evening to you and thank you so much for your time. Now, we know at this hour the uh, Table Mountain as well as the City Hall are to turn purple in honor of the arch. And I see that behind you there, the City Hall is in fact uh, that, you know, lit in purple in honor of the arch is the table mountain the same well uh, um, definitely as you said the city hall has turned purple already but the table mountain is not as purple as yet because it's not really dark at this time we were told we must be here at eight o'clock for the lighting of uh, these landmarks to purple in commemoration of the man who dedicated his entire life to fight for social justice for peace and also forgiveness in the South African context. But the mayor said he will be here at quarter to nine when it's a bit darker because you know Cape Town in summer, it mm. gets a bit of time before it gets really darker. So where I'm standing here, it is at the Grand Parade. So this is a very strategic place to be at. This is one of the central and most famous and iconic uh, squares here in Cape Town. It is nestled around one of the most um, popular landmarks such as the castle on my right, the table mount is just uh, on my right. I will ask my colleague um, Arif Khan to just show you where the Table Mountain is to try and pan to the right. But it is not purple as yet. And then when he pans a bit to to the left, you will see this is the city hall. And also right behind it, right. Uh, oh, on the adjacent side, there is a railway station. So this is one of the most iconic sites where we are standing here. They've uh, picked up a very strategic place to be at here today. But the mayor will be here at quarter to nine to talk to us to more about why they've decided to light up Cape Town to purple in memory and commemoration of the man who dedicated his life for social justice, Obaba U Desmond Tutu, who passed away this morning. So tributes have been pouring in from across the lands and breadth of this country. And even beyond this country, um, such as the, the former uh, president of the United States, Barack Obama, also sent his uh, a tribute to say that Desmond Tutu was the moral compass of not only South Africa, but the entire world. He not only cared about the wellness of his people, but he went beyond to care about the wellness of other people from across the lens and breadth of the world. And Atule, one of the things that we are looking to hear then from the mayor is what are they going to be doing in a form of activities when the week unfolds, as of course a lot of people are probably wondering if there'll be a memorial service that might be open to the public. But I wonder how the book of condolences is going and also what are some of the Kiptonians in fact saying, because the mayor has been saying that he was in fact the best, um, you know, citizen of Cape Town. Well, yes, um, the, the bishop is held in high esteem here in Cape Town. Hence, uh, first of all, there is a book of condolences that is uh, put outside the, the, the St. George's Cathedral and next to Adderley Street. And they will also be putting more in other city cup sub councils. And they will encourage Cape Townians to come and sign and also send their condolences to the Archbishop Tutu. And also more people have been coming to his home to pay their last respects and their condolences as well. So this is just one bit of their condolences to light up there's um iconic landmarks as you would know that table mountain is one of um south africa's most famous landmarks It's also a, a seventh a part of the seventh wonders of the world so it's quite a very huge honor for him to be honored in that way because purple is the color which is synonymous with the archbishop this is the color he was always wearing mm. uh, he was always wearing um a, a purple t-shirt or a purple robe even during the truth and reconciliation a commission when he broke down he was crying you can see those images who have been playing throughout the TV today he was wearing that very same a purple color so it is very significant it is very synonymous with him so Cape Townians will be able to see uh, this uh, purple color which uh, signifies and resemble uh, that uh, spirit of hope and empathy forgiveness peace that the Archbishop stood for Atula will catch up with you at around quarter to nine as you say when the mayor arrives there